Hey now, it's your favorite property recovery agent. I'm over here in North Randall, Ohio. I got a fresh foreclosure. Um, I just twisted the lock. I've never been inside. Now, normal protocol is for me to post notice because this place has the power on and it's secure. Locks have never been changed. However, I called my client and they're pretty insistent about me getting inside. And their client said that we are to go inside. So. Ladies and sirs, I literally just twisted the lock, grabbed my camera, and here we go. Knock, knock. I could see through the window and I saw the living room and I said, well, it's probably, probably, probably vacant, it's trashed. Doing a quick flea check. Will Smith, that's a great movie, The Pursuit of Happiness. If you've never seen that movie, that's a fantastic movie based on a true story. Hello? Just kind of generally trashed. Well, that's kind of a nice dresser. Oh man, people. And you you're probably like, oh no. They just trashed it because they left. No, they probably lived like this. I mean, that's an old tub, and that's an old uh, old tile job. But no, they probably, they probably live like this. They probably had their shit. Look, I mean, really? Old toilet paper rolls? What, are you saving them? What, are you crafting? Stop crafting. I'll give you one guess as to what I'm looking for. I don't trust any house. We got here. What are we into? One cat just leads to another. Yeah, some say that. Hello Kitty. Plush danglers? What's a plush dangler? I kind of want to know what that is, but I don't touch nothing in these houses. This house looks a little dingy to me. Little dirty birdies in here. We got food. We got look. We got animals. We got cat litter. Weirdly enough, it does not smell. We got hand sanitizer sealed to prevent leaking. Don't want no leaks. This is a nice little house. A little three one. A little three one action. A little ranch. Little rancher room. Look, they had a nice little bar cart. Oh, here we go, kitchen. Oh, what's going on in here? Well, they took the fridge. Left the filth. What got in here? A raccoon or something had to have gotten in here. And run amok. It ran amok. Let's see, we got mice. I see mice poop. I don't see any other infestations. Oh man, for a second there, I thought that was a very live tumbleweave, but that is a very dead tumbleweave. It's actually a tumble extension. Oh shit. So I'm in the middle of some gankaroo. Oh shit. I would say so. Listen, ladies and sirs, if you buy a house with a fucking furnace and hot water tank, if you leave, you don't get to take it. That's called permanent frickin' fixture. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, fuck. All right. I don't give a crap if you paid for it. I've, oh, man. That thing's ripping my fucking... Hold on. All right. 
Thought that sharp edge right there just ripped the hole in my derriere pants, but no, we're good. Um, yeah, you can't do that. You can't take your mechanicals with you. Sorry. Oh, not when it gets foreclosed on either, ladies and sirs. It's a big friggin' no. Well, we got mold. We got some, I could already see that looks like some DIY drain situation. That drain needs replaced. Taking and stealing their own shit. Smells like mold big time down here. Big, 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 big time. Got a garden hose down here. Oh, that's because they drained a hot water tank before they took it. And look, they just sliced that shit. Like, we're taking this furnace. We put it in. Man, those mattresses are looking nasty. I'm not going anywhere near there. I do not want to catch Hep C. What do we got here? Eight tracks. Eight tracks, man. That's some vintage shit. I just saw cassette tapes. Used cassette tapes going for over ten dollars, and I saw a tool cassette tape going for fifty bucks. Can you believe it? That's crazy. This house is nice. Once it's cleaned up, man. There's basement. Man. Pretty nice. Oh yeah, we got water coming in. Look, you can see it. I mean, it's old and dated, sure, but man, that's you know that's pretty cool. I dig it. <clears throat> you could fix this up, make it nice. Fix it up, make it nice, nice. Got a little mold. Got a little nasty. Got a little what the hell? What's that for? Like a micro baby? Itty bitty. I had I had kids. I know what a nursery. You know, it's be for like fake, like for a doll or something. That's not for kids, like real kids, like human kids. What we got here? Jumbo jet. See the mold? You see the mold? That's that mold. Don't 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 go licking anything in here. Jumbo jet. We got us a dolphin. Oh. Shit, and more mold. <clears throat> Xbox 360, anybody? Covered in mold. Ooh. All right. Now right. well, we're gonna go out and check out the garage. Get past the mechanicals. All right, let's see what we got out of here. I mean, I could see already the door was messed up. <clears throat> we got old big fat Saint Nick, Saint Nicholas. I, I don't know why anybody has this kind of shit. Seriously, whether you got kids or not, just. Teach them young to not start believing in lies. I'm just saying. Rated number one, who said? Me? I know, ladies and sirs. I would give me a number one rating, too. That looks very used. Charcoal briquettes. Look, we got oxygen. They probably passed away. Oh, we got one of those things. A percolator, a, de, a, de, a deval. What is it? Oh, concentrator, that's it. I kicked that for a reason. I can't explain. New plates. Anybody want some plates? Don't look. Eh. I'm betting. I'm, I'm, this, this is my uh, professional assumption that this was another one of those like reverse mortgages. Because I've had quite a few of these recently. Um, got some games. No deadbolt lockage. 
So these are new locks. So it made me think somebody came along and changed the locks. Because you see, look, there's... Oh, wait a second. We're unraveling a somewhat of a mystery here. Hold on a second, ladies and sirs. Because I was under the impression that this was... The locks were already changed. Now, hold on. Hold on. All right. Let's see something here. We have this lock box. We have a lock box. I'm going to punch in the code that they gave me and let's see if it opens. Well, I'll be dipped in buttermilk. What'd they put on here? I'll take those keys. You can have that key. Wow, isn't that interesting? So, look at that, ladies and sirs. So, the, it had HUD locks on and this. Somebody, I'm guessing a relative, has come along and took these off and put their own locks on. Interesting. So, you never know, ladies and sirs. However, I'm going to do my job and uh, get the hell out of here. But um, you never know, ladies and sirs, I, I deal with that problem all the time. And in fact, I have a property, well, two properties right now that have family members squatting in them. And the person, in one case, sold the property and the brother is still in the place. And then another one, the person died and they've been living there for a while. So you have no right to ownership if you live with your grandma and your grandma died and the house went into probate and it got sold or something like that. I'm sorry, just because it was your grandma, you don't have any rights to that house unless you left it in her will, which if she didn't, probably weren't that good of a grandchild anyways. So there's a reason you didn't get the house. Just saying, I see this situation all the time. So anyways, ladies and sirs, thanks for coming along with this strut. God, this is a horrible goldy yellow color in here too. Um, thanks for coming along, ladies and sirs. I appreciate all the continued support. Please like, follow, share, and uh, make sure you're subscribed to this for more interesting content. We're always dealing with uh, foreclosures and squatters. We're showing you the dark underbelly of the real estate market in Cleveland. And this is what it looks like, just like that. So anyways, ladies and sirs, thanks again. We'll see you in the next one.